Hello, my name is Bella. Welcome back to another video in the Myriad 6 tutorial series. In this video, we will explore the library tab, what it is for, and how to use it in your shows. In a previous video, we focused on the media wall, which is the structure that houses all media items, like songs, jingles, adverts, etc. We saw how the media wall is organized numerically by media ID and that ranges within the media wall are used to separate content of different types. The library tab, which is included in virtually all dynamic layouts, can be considered as an alternative way to view the media wall. Everything that is on the media wall will be accessible from the library tab, although restricted content is filtered out by default. But instead of being oriented around media ID number, the library arranges content around categories and other attributes, making it easier to navigate your library and find the content you are looking for. You can use the navigation browser on the left-hand side to select content type, categories, and any other attributes you have configured on your system. Once you have found the media item you are interested in, you can drag it directly into a media player or into the log for live or automated playback. You can use the search section to type in an artist name, title or other keyword to search for. The results will be displayed in the main library window. The advanced search button on the home ribbon opens more detailed options for finding content. In this example, we will search for songs by Kylie Minogue that were released between 2000 and 2010. Add in the search criteria and click on the search button to see the results. All the details for the media items are displayed in the main section. You can sort the results by any field by clicking on the column header. You can also reorganize the columns by dragging them around. Myriad will remember the order for next time you log in. The additional tabs in the advanced tools section allow you to further fine tune your results. The ribbon offers quick access to a range of tools and features, such as adding the selected content to the pad, the favorites or the log. You can also view more information about the item using the item information button. This shows more detail, as well as providing access to the item's recent schedule history and even whether using this item now would break any of the station's scheduling rules. Many of the tools on the ribbon are also available on the right-click menu in the library. You can also access these options and more using the tabs on the library ribbon. On the View tab, you will see an option labeled Include Date and Our Restricted Items, which is off by default. With this option, in the default off state, any media items that are hour or date restricted at this specific time will be excluded from the library search results. If you enable this option, all results are shown, regardless of whether items are date or time restricted. Now you know the basics regarding the library, we recommend exploring further to determine how it will work best for your show. For more video tutorials and help articles, visit our help portal using the link below, or check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and happy broadcasting!